Concentration. It's all about concentration. In his book, Deep Work, the author Cal Newport explains that our obsession to work as many hours as possible ironically leads to us being less productive than we would have been if we simply worked less hours with more focus. In his book, he argues that studies have shown that a single distraction, as simple as checking your phone's notifications, leads to 15 minutes of what he called attention residue. That means every time you get distracted, even by just a little, it stays in your subconscious for 15 minutes, severely decreasing your concentration. And all of that adds up. Attention residue leads to shallow work, which I guarantee is how you work, because it's how everyone works. So if you want to have a decisive advantage on your competition in the coding job market, start using deep work. Deep work, also known as the zone or flow state, is basically when you're so utterly focused on something with zero distractions that you think about nothing else but that one task. And 100% of your energy is directed toward that one task. Studies show that one hour of deep work is literally the equivalent of four hours of shallow work. That means that if you only worked four hours of deep work a day, you'd be just as productive than someone working 16 hours a day with shallow work. And it's a skill. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Unfortunately, this also applies to shallow work. The more shallow work you do, the worse you become at deep work. Now that you know how awesome deep work is, how do you actually implement it? You have to divide them into 60 to 90 minute deep work blocks, because after 90 minutes your concentration will start to decrease. Here's some actionable steps that you can take right now to start your first deep work session today. The first step is to define a series of actions that you will always do before a deep work session to signal to your brain that it's deep work time. Start with something easy and simple so to stay consistent with this. Here's an idea. One minute of breathing meditation followed by five squats. Second step is to work for 60 to 90 minutes with zero distractions. At first, you'll get thoughts trying to distract you from your deep work. Just ignore them and don't get angry at yourself if you fall for it. This is what you're training when doing deep work. You can also meditate daily to practice this skill. Third step is to rest. Don't go on social media, video games, or anything else that would spike your dopamine levels. Just sleep for 20 minutes or maybe read a book. Something that actually rests your brain. Then you repeat these steps steps until you finish all of the deep work you wanted to do that day. Unfortunately, even masters of deep work can only do at most four hours of deep work per day, and beginners can only do one. So to stay consistent, you should start at one hour of deep work. Also, remember that shallow work is not bad within of itself. Cal Newport, in one of his podcasts, explains that you should see shallow work as a way to keep the lights on. So just about any low-intensity task that's just routine to you and deep work is for high-intensity tasks that move your goals forward. If you're grateful for this advice, then like and subscribe now. If not, you can just dislike.